Betsy uh, emailed us as hearing different stories about how good her credit needs to be to get a mortgage. In past years, Betsy admits her credit rating was not good, but she's been working on it. So in this case, this, this should be a pretty simple, easy one to answer, Andy. What's the minimum her credit rating needs to be to get a loan? And let's talk about both the conventional FHA and maybe even VA. What can you give us as the spread for a minimum for credit rating? Yeah, so so there there are two different things, right? I mean, first there are the minimum requirements for you know FHA, conventional, VA, USDA. Uh, then there are also additional lender overlays. So if we if we do hit that minimum, and we're not much above the minimum, we got to find a bank that's going to take it, right? Um, so typically FHA, um, VA, those are going to be 580. Um, now if you're below 580 and you've got compensating factors, you've got a lot of money in the bank, you have a, a long um, history of paying your rent on time, every time, no lates whatsoever. Um, you know, if you've got compensating factors there, there may be something that we can do for you with like a manual underwrite or something like that. Um, conventional financing uh, is gonna be 620 minimum. Now, if you're at a 620, most banks are gonna require that you put 20% down. So for conventional financing, you really want to be, uh, you know, 700 or above, but we can get it done at 620. Um, USDA, I believe it's 640, um, mm -hmm. but also you're going to want compensating factors at that minimum as well. Um, you know, do you, do you have three months reserves in the bank? One month reserves equals one monthly, one payment, um, you know, it's the equivalent of what your house payment will be, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, right? You have one month of reserves after you put your down payment and your closing cost. Do you have three months? Do you have six months? Um, you know, a lot of compensating factors there. So Yeah. So, and a couple of quick things. They, you're now able to use the history on paying rent that's now being allowed. So, if you've got a good history of paying your rent on time, I'm, I hear that that can be included in the factors. And the other thing is, remember, folks, the higher your credit score, the better your interest rate that you're going to be quoted. It just is a simple matter of uh, fact here, right? Absolutely. 